the bag of the week my personal favorite and a huge louis vuitton unboxing welcome back to my channel i am katie and i am at the designer babe and i am so excited to start this new series on YouTube. We've had this series in our Facebook group on Instagram, but I am so personally excited to have this series now be on my YouTube channel where it will have its permanent home to my favorite personal collection items and items that are available on designerarmcandy.com. So to start this week off, I am so excited, like woo, excited to share with you guys one of my very personal favorite bags. I actually have two of them. Hopefully a third. It is just that good. Like you're not going to want to wait another second to grab one. They are just that good. And that bag is, drum roll please, the Louis Vuitton Neo Noé. I love this bag for a few different reasons. I love its versatility. I love its size. I love the different prints that it comes in. And I just love the look of it. There's something about the bag when it can be dressy yet casual and fancy yet casual. I just love that whole vibe that it gives off. Plus there's a few different ways you can wear it, which is awesome. So let's dive into this a little bit. One thing that I absolutely, that's probably like my top favorite thing about this bag is the fact that you can wear it, not one, not two, not three, but four different ways. What bag can you wear it like that? Not a lot of them. So this one, you can actually change out the strap. So you can change it from being a shoulder bag into a crossbody or a longer shoulder hip bag, which I love when I feel like I'm getting kind of like a two for one, or in this case, a four for one bag deal. I absolutely also love the fact that it comes in different prints. So this one actually does come in the Louis Vuitton monogram, but it does come in the Damier prints as well. So the Damier Zor and the Damier Ben, which I love both of those. And this one that I'm showing you here is actually part of a two year find that it took me to find an Azor with the Rose Ballerine interior because it is since then been discontinued and it's been kind of hard to find, but I found one in the condition that I wanted and in the price that I wanted. That's the beauty of our fun personal shopping experience that I offer at Designer Arm Candy. So I love that it has like the fun spring vibes to it that some of like the monograms or the darker prints like the Damier Ben and the monogram don't really offer and usually it's a little bit darker. So I loved the azure print with the pink combo. It's just a sucker for it. Like, oh, dreams. But anyways, so I love that this bag is versatile. I also love that the inside has a divider pocket where it's zipped. So you can put like your phone in there or lip gloss or keys, stuff that you want to make sure that you can easily find and that can easily be readily available if you need to go into the bag itself. I love that option that it's just easy to find. Like you could put your hand in there and dig around and you would know right where it's at. Also, I just love the look of this bag. Don't you? Like, I just love that it's, it's dressy, but casual. Like I said in the beginning, but yeah, it has so much personality. Maybe that's what I like about it. Like purse, like P O R S E analogy, right? And so I love that it has that different look. It's not your typical Neverfull or your typical pochette Matisse. It's kind of in between being a crossbody and a tote. It's kind of in that gray area that's in between both, which makes it so fun and worth the investment. These ones you can actually find in resale for underneath retail, but also you can find some that are over retail if they are a limited edition print, like the one that I have here that I'm showing you in the Azor is actually, I paid over retail for it, but I was willing to do that because it's A, a discontinued print, and B, I've really wanted this for a long time so I was willing to spend a little bit more you also can get these in different kind of conditions so you're gonna find good conditions some of them might be a little bit of a worse condition but overall the bag itself should be in pretty good condition just because it is treated vaquetta like let the heavens open and sing I love when the bag has a treated vaquetta strap or vaquetta detailing Reason being, you don't have to worry about water stains when it comes to treated vaquetta. So definitely another check 
for me for this style. So that is the bag of the week. Now we are going to unbox this beauty here. So hold on a second, gonna reposition the camera. Okay, wait. so, so excited about this. This has been something that was definitely on a list for me to get in. And I'm so excited to have it because it was a pre-order item. It was actually part of the men's collection and I just can't wait. Like I have not seen it. This will be the first time that I will see it with you guys. So if you guys can guess, guess in the comments down below because this one comes in a heavier box. So it definitely has like the handle on the top, which I have never personally actually seen that before, which is really fun to have as kind of like a collector piece of this item. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox away. Okay, so now that I have everything out, I have the dust bag. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Here we go. This is definitely, it's my signature color. I'll give a hint there. Oh my gosh! Enter squeals and hard eyes. Holy smokes, you guys. This is stunning, stunning. So this is actually the Keep All 50 bandolier. So it does come with a strap. It was pre-ordered about two months ago. Again, I love that it has treated leather so you don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, watermarks, it does have silver hardware, which I'm kind of partial to, but I still absolutely love this because I got the matching card holder and I knew as soon as I saw the actual color in person that I had to have the matching heat ball and my CA is amazing. And look at this shoulder strap. It's got the monogram all through it. So incredibly fun. So this will definitely be a collector piece for sure. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and the little bell to notify you every time I have a new video here on YouTube. Again, today's bag of the week was the Neo Noe, and I can't wait to share more with you to come. Bye.